a lot has actually happened in the crypto space in the past few days a lot of bleeding you know the ftx exchange issue okay with the founder sam and then the ftt token all of this has caused a lot of damage most especially to the end users you know you and i who are just investors in this space are the one who are suffering from all of this okay and recently after we have not even gotten out of the ftx issue okay then crypto.com is coming up with theirs all right so here i'm actually actually making this video um to actually stand with um get dodayo okay because the founder tweeted here yeah, all right that whatever um crypto.com is claiming they transferred to get.io wrongly according to them okay the 320 ethereum that they transferred to get.io they didn't mention it was get.io they transferred it to but they said it was to a wrong wallet okay but you know um get.io said when they got this okay they actually contacted you know all of that has been stated there i will, I will read out the post okay clear you know to clear their own stand with the crypto.com issue because whatever crypto.com transferred wrongly to get the dial has you know been returned back from get the dial it has been returned back in full to crypto.com all right but here is a tweet from the founder of get the dial that you know um they actually worked with you know this is their auditor okay the amanino on the proof of reserves using a snapshot on the 19th of october that is two days before the crypto.com you know 320 ethereum deposit to their wallet okay so if you come in here to you know the ether scan you can see all of the transaction details here and the rest okay but here is an article from gate.io i'm going to leave a link to this okay um in the video description okay this is um a clarification um, from gate.io okay in assisting crypto.com to retrieve their 320,000 ethereum okay which was transferred to you know gate.io by mistake all right so here uh gate.io is saying that on october okay the 21st of um you know 2022 all right at a, exactly this time okay crypto.com sent this 320,000 ethereum to the gate.io account which you know was being used the gate.io account it was sent to is an account that is used by crypto.com okay it is an account that was used by crypto.com okay and then the large amounts entering triggered the security audit mechanism of the gate.io platform okay which was then intercepted by the risk control system so after communicating with crypto.com and confirming that it was an operation error okay this is what get um get the is stating here so after confirming that it was an operation error transfer they immediately started the asset return process and then assisted in returning all the wrongly transferred asset okay back to gate.io you can use the transaction rate the hash rate here okay you can check out the ether scan here and see all of those details so gate.io is clarifying all of this and my um concern now is why is a founder okay of crypto.com this happened like three weeks ago so why is it now bringing the issue and causing more bleeding in the market why is it bringing the issue right now and causing more bleeding in the market because gate.io actually you know has transferred back these funds back to them so what was his reason of you know um releasing that tweet of recent okay and this is what um the founder of binance is saying i, I think this was after gate.io has to publish their own you know um proof of reserve so uh the founder of binance is saying that if an exchange have to move a large amount of crypto okay before or after they demonstrate their wallet addresses then it is clear okay it is a clear sign of problem so you should stay away all of these things are just causing confusion for we the end users it is just causing confusion for we the end users now for crypto.com i don't know what what they have but you know if you have to follow all of this tweet 
I, I think there is something fishy with crypto.com. Okay, but this is just, um, you know, a clarification. You can go ahead and take a look at, you know, this um, article, this write-off from gate.io um, that is exonerating them from all of the crypto.com transaction because from the look of things, gate.io has returned back the funds in full back to crypto.com. Okay, they have returned back the funds in full back to crypto.com. So crypto.com should, I don't know what they are up to, if they are in any way, okay, in one way or the other related to, you know, what is happening with FTX, okay, we don't know, but the whole summary here is that you as an investor, okay, you and I have to be careful, all right, um, you know, the whole idea of the crypto or blockchain um, when it was new, uh, initially invented, okay, sometime in 2009, the whole idea was to, you know, stay free from, um, you know, third parties. Because what some of these majority, in fact, what centralized exchanges are doing right now is the same thing that the banks were doing to us, okay? The same thing that the banks were doing to us. And now people now started creating centralized exchanges where, they, they have to now serve as a third party for between you and your crypto transactions and the rest. And look at where all of this is now landing us into. Look at where it is now landing us into. Okay? So it is true that FTX is out of the market right now. They have done a lot of harm to investors. Okay? And to all of us who have, you know, in one way or the other, key into, um, you know, investing in crypto and so on, which will cause a lot of fraud and with what is happening in the market right now, it will actually take a lot of time, okay? It will actually take some time before we we'll recover from what is currently ongoing in the market. So to help spread the news, okay, I'm just going to retweet this and I will advise you do the same, okay? Yeah, I'm going to leave a link to all of this in the video description. Just go ahead and, and, and you know, retweet this. What I can say here is I don't understand what crypto.com is up to, but one just needs to be very careful, okay? Um, you just need to be very careful out there. All right. So I've been using gate.io for a while now and um, You know basically if you want to use some of these centralized exchanges All you just need is your trading funds. Okay, just have your trading funds there If there is any asset you have that you are not in need of right now You are not going to be using on a daily basis Then there is need for you to have your own you know hard wallet where you can you know store all of that but the essence of centralized exchanges is just to trade and currently you can trade on the gate.io exchange okay whether you want to trade fishers you want to trade you know sport margins all of the trading on um, gate.io right now comes with zero fee okay you can give it a try i'll leave links in the video description you can go ahead and give gate.io a try and i'll leave link to all of these tweets so that you can equally go and follow the trade and um you know see how you can equally um you know get involved in spreading this news that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video